Thank you, Mr. President. 30 years ago, the countries of, let's call it, old Europe, the 15 member states of the EU as it stood prior to the enlargement of the ex Comic Con countries, accounted for 36% of world GDP. Today, that figure is 25%, and in 10 years' time, it is scheduled to be 15%. Now, why is this happening? We can't put it all down to the rise of Asia. The share of world GDP occupied by Canada and the US has remained fairly steady over the same period. The truth is that we have burdened ourselves with higher taxes, with more restrictive regulations, with more intrusive regulators and licenses and inspectors and bureaucrats and clerks. It may have made sense when the main competition was coming from within this continent. It makes no sense in a world where we're competing with China and India. All the more reason, Mr. President, for your constituents and mine to raise their eyes to further horizons, to abandon this cramped and dwindling regional customs union and to rediscover the global vocation which our fathers took for granted.